Well, at the moment, part of it is for scientists, but in the not too far future, I think they will have a big effect in society and in industry. And therefore, I think that we should care about that. The reason is that now we are crossing the frontier of the microscopic world. We are discovering many things that are happening there in quantum technologies tries to exploit them, to exploit, to do things that we are not possible, that are not possible today. And thus, I think that that's why it's worth uh, paying attention to what is going on there. Quantum physics, on the one hand, uh, it's something that is very deep. It has connections with philosophy. Apart from that, it has very nice and beautiful mathematics behind. And especially as well, it has applications. So this combination of deep concepts, mathematical, abstract, let's say, inscriptions and application, it's not so easy to find and quantum physics, quantum science has all that and that's what really attracted me to the field. I really think so. I mean, I hope that it will not take 80 years to get to the point that we are now, um, but I think that there is a lot of uh, fundamental research to be done. There is a technological development that has to be carried out at the same time. And we have to find applications. And this parallels very much what happened with classical technologies that we're using today. And that's a process that uh, will take some time. And I think that it will uh, be very interesting just to go through the path and see how things are discovered along the way. To exploit the properties of quantum physics, uh, we have to uh, immerse ourselves in the microscopic world, in the things that are very, very small. And there we cannot control it that well. So we have to develop the technologies to, the, to control the things that we don't see and it's very hard to access. So that's the main challenge, is that, that the main challenge, that we have to uh, find a way of controlling this microscopic world. We have very good ways of doing that at the moment, but they are not perfect and we have to make it better and better. Another challenge is that we have to uh, find more applications, I'm sure, that most of the multi, or most important applications are still to be discovered. We cannot even think about how to use, or where, where we can use this uh, phenomena that occur in the microscopic world. So that's maybe not so much from scientists, but for more entrepreneur. So what to do with those quantum systems that you know, today we cannot think about? Well, this depends very much on the profile that you want to exploit. So there can be a theoretician like myself, in which case you have to um, be good at mathematics and good at theory and know very well, very detailed theory, maybe an experimentalist, and then you have to be good, very good at experimentalist and also know uh, how things work in quantum physics. Maybe you are a developer and then you have to have more like uh, innovation skills, um, and, but all of them require to have curiosity. I think that we are still at the moment where a lot of curiosity is, is required. So you have to do research, development or whatever. You have to think of what, what is interesting, why uh, I want to understand, I want to learn, and then I want to develop. There are people coming from different communities. It is a very multidisciplinary field. And there are computer scientists, chemists, physicists, theoretical physicists, mathematicians. And we have our own language, and so they have to meet in places in order to develop a common language, common interest, and then help each other and collaborate. And that's a good place to do that. Okay, so I can imagine the future, but I think that I will be completely wrong. So if you look at history, so whenever we have thought about the future in five, ten years, then it's very difficult to guess. I mean, I can imagine that progressively quantum technologies are replacing normal technologies, and they are giving us many possibilities, but most of them are still to be discovered.